Trofim Lysenko was a Soviet agronomist who rose rapidly, rejected genetics, and subordinated biology to communist ideology. Backed by Joseph Stalin, he promoted educating crops by cold-soaking seed, claimed acquired traits would be inherited, banned fertilizers and pesticides, and mandated dense planting under his law of the life of species. Disaster followed. While Stalin bears primary blame for collectivization, Lysenko's methods prolonged shortages, with output falling even as land under his schemes expanded 163-fold. Millions starved in the Soviet Union, peaking 1932 to 1933. After China adopted Lysenkoism in the late 1950s, at least 30 million more died, shielded by power. He purged dissent. Geneticists were fired, imprisoned, or killed. Botanist Nikolai Vavilov starved in prison. Derided abroad as ignorant of basic genetics, Lysenko was celebrated at home until his post-Stalin decline and 1964 removal. He died in 1976. Since the 2000s, a fringe Russian revival, driven by anti-Western sentiment, Stalin nostalgia. For an example, a 2017 poll approving Stalin and misread epigenetics has praised him with support from right-wingers, Stalinists, some scientists, and the Orthodox Church. The broader warning endures. Ideology can corrupt science, from creationism and climate denial to GMO and blank slate dogmas. The lesson? Ideology can starve nations in any country, repeatedly too.